Hi, this is Sally. I just finished these two journals. They're um, basically what you would call naked journals because there's really not a lot of embellishment in them. I thought I'd just make them as last minute Christmas gifts. So I finished this one first and then I did this one. Notice that there is, they're not jammed full of stuff. There's room to grow in these. And um, person that gets them could add whatever they wanted to them. So really like this cover. It's called What the Queen Said and Further Facetious Fragments. Um, th I thought that was cool. So I put a little charm on here. It's got um, a farthing, a little golden bee, and a gold crystal. And no closures. Uh, hidden binding. This one has a really nice spine. Do not want to cover that up. It's really in pretty good condition. So on the inside, I left the inside in papers. They were in good condition and I just decided to, I'm trying to keep these simple so I could keep the price down. I added some tissue paper collage. I thought that came out nice and it kind of blends in well. And this paper was actually attached to the ori original cover. So um, there's also tissue collage there. And on this side, on the other side, right there. So this is where I glued the spine that I made in. It's a hidden spine. Each of the um, signatures starts with a piece of a poster that I've had for quite a while. It's just kind of a, a neat old poster from Palau. I'm not sure where that is, but I'm sure it's some kind of tropical island. But it says on there, 1974. So the poster's been around a while. So it is just full of a lot of plain paper. I did make a pocket here, but there's nothing in it. This is some of my beet dyed paper. I did put a few pictures or uh, pages from this old Alice and Jerry book, which I actually do remember reading this book when I was a kid because the stories were familiar to me. This is just, uh, this is some uh, computer stationery. If I see it in estate sales or thrift shops, I usually buy it. I really like that it has a design on it. I probably should tea stain it because the back is just plain white. A little piece of the Cavallini poster, just a scrap. This is some of my avocado dyed paper. It's came out a really pretty color, very pastel, peachy color. Some ledger paper with a little bit of spray ink. Uh, book page. This is um, this is from a book called uh, that is a log tally sheet, Department of Interior Bureau of Land Management basically where the, uh, a driver would put down all the logs that he has on his truck. It has nice grid on it, so I use that as some writing paper. Tea-stained graph paper. A page of desserts from the Dainty Desserts for Dainty People book, which I took apart. I used the cover to make a journal, but these pages that were inside were really pretty, so I did not get rid of them. An Edith Holden page because I just love them. It's actually some recipes here that look pretty good. I'm just gonna flip through them pretty quickly. This is actually the smaller of the two. The other one's a little bit bigger. Business card. That's the end of the first signature. Second signature, more of that same poster. More uh, computer stationery. This one had a pretty flower border on it. Another story from Alice and Jerry. I, I really remember this story where Alice gets that new hat. And, or new coat, I'm sorry. Uh, part of the Cavallini poster. Pretty much the same pages in each signature. I did want to use this 
I took this book apart. I liked the borders on there. I didn't really like what was in it. So here I just added some extra paper for note, taking notes. And on this side, I just covered it with an old um, page from an old book. It says 1904. I think it's actually a page from this book because it was handy. And there's the center of the second signature. This one has three. I love that picture. So as you can see, I'm only charging 25 for these because it really, they just took me very little time to put together. So on this page, I love the elephants, didn't like what was here. So I added this little piece of fabric that had an elephant on it and a page from that other book. Look at that mold of the fish, salmon salad. This is some uh, tea stain paper where I actually layered different things in there to make an impression. I use plastic doilies, but I also use stencils and some um, silk flower leaves. And that's what made this leaf print. I thought that came out cool. And on this side, you can kind of see, uh, I actually had a paper doily in there too. So that's the second, and here's the last signature. Another piece of that poster. Pretty much the same stuff. Lots of writing space. Um, just a very little in the way of embellishment. I wanted to leave this for the person who gets it to do the decorating and keep the price down. That's avocado dyed. I like that picture of those two dogs and this little girl here sleeping. That's beet dyed paper. Some more tissue paper collage and then this is actually this was in the original book I decided just to leave it it's kind of pasted down but it is an article about the author and, and and about this book actually so somebody stuck that in there and I just left it and a little um, tag from the bookstore which is kind of cool it's embossed And so that's that one. So the other one is a little bit thicker. It's a neat looking book. I like the color of it. I didn't really realize until I um, started actually working with it, but these, the design actually has guns in it. It was kind of a Western book, I think. The Law of the Land. I thought this one might be good for a guy's journal. It's got this um, key, clock face, and star charm that are, that are glued together. I didn't do that. I found it. Somebody had, I guess, put it in Goodwill or something. I got it at a thrift store, I think. Anyway, those uh, seem to symbolize the law, right? And so on the inside of this one, I used fabric. It also had a plain end paper but I decided to go ahead and cover it up with fabric. I like to use it. And then there's my hidden spine right there. So each of these signatures starts with some handmade paper. And they're similar. They're not the same really as the other one. I picked out different papers for each book. It's one of my jelly prints on jelly paper. Um, took a couple pages out of my Georgia O'Keeffe book and cut them up to use as pages in here. This is vellum, tea stained. Um, so here's a, 
envelope, and um, I don't think it has, it has just some note paper inside. And it does have a window, so I decided that it would be neat to have something showing through the window. So um, it has this, I don't know if you could see the, the cat in the tree. But that was kind of cute. And that's actually pasted down so it uh, won't come out. It's just some nice writing paper. That's parchment. Uh, this is actually baking paper that's been tea stained. Paper from a primary tablet. There's the middle of the first signature. And here's the other half of the envelope. And oh, yeah, I just put a one of these flashcards in it. I felt like putting something in there. It was hard for me to really do a naked journal. I wanted to, of course, do more decorating and embellishing and stamping and tags and so on, but that takes a lot of time. It looks pretty. I like those papers. By the way, I, um, there's somebody out there who has a great tutorial on... Oh, I can't think of her name. Maybe I'll think of it later. Uh, she has a great tutorial. It's very simple on binding. And I actually learned a few things from her. Actually, she uses her the small hole of her crocodile to punch the holes for the binding. And she said it makes it a lot easier. Kind of makes sense, but I don't know. Okay, so here I just added a little notepad. Um, this is a title page from the book, The Law of the Land. And I just used some old book pages in here to make that little notepad. It's just a real uh, mix of different papers. A little sheet music and uh, just a plain postcard and my business card. An envelope I made with um, some note paper inside. Those Georgia O'Keeffe paintings are just so gorgeous. Has been avocado dyed. It was white, and of course, it already had that border on it. A little extra paper that I folded up to make a little pocket. writing space. That's avocado dyed. That, didn't that come out really nice? I mean, I love how it's kind of starts more uh, darker there at the edges and lighter. This envelope, I just stitched it in and, and uh, sealed up the flap so I could put a little piece of something in there, and it's just some old writing paper. has a few more pages than the other one, but both of them don't have too much because there's actually, they don't have gator mouth. <laughs> okay, so 
there they are, two naked journals. Thanks for watching.